<laughs> so, <laughs> real American fat asks you to me, what do you think about Demetrius Boo Boo Andre? Oh, Boo Boo? Yeah. Ah. Great boxer. Just mm -hmm. hasn't had the opportunity, man, to really show it. It sucks, man, because a, a lot of guys, they have a ton of skills. Uh, and if, if you're not uh, one of those guys that bring in, you know, financially uh, a lot of money, when you're fighting at the high level, a lot of guys, they tend to stay away from you. Um, I would have loved to see Boo Boo fight against freaking Triple G a long, 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 long time ago. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, that fight should have happened Canelo. a long time ago. Uh, Canelo should happen, um, you know. But a lot of times these guys they shy away from Boo Boo because he's a he's a boxer. See, you guys don't understand that, you know. Punchers they not the most avoided. Mm -mm. Punchers are yeah. not the most avoided, bro. It's the it's the pure boxer, bro. It's the ones that can make you look silly, the ones that can make you look foolish, demoralize you, hit you, and you can't hit them. And mentally frustrate you. Oh. And yeah, it mentally frustrates you. And, you know, these guys can go around and say that they lost to, to Boo Boo. <laughs> you know, they don't want to go around and say they lost to Boo Boo. So they, they stay away from him. And they just say that, you know what, he's not marketable. You know, he's not a, he's not a draw. He's not that. He, he's and a horrible fighter. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's part of the game. But Boo Boo can fight, bro. Boo Boo can fight. Uh, I hope he gets some action at 168 pounds. Um, see the guy that he needs to face is he needs to face a guy like uh uh, uh Benavides. Yes, yes, that's the that's the fight we need. Yeah, I mean, come on, bro. You, you know, that's a guy that'll face you, and he's a credible fighter. He's a credible guy. That guy will face you, bro. He will face anybody, and that's why I love I think, that's why I love Benavides. I, I think Benavides will fight anybody, but I think there's a there's a disconnect between him and his management because it's like, he says one thing and then you know Samson Boxing says another. Like because they were saying they wanted like seven million dollars just to start negotiating the Andre fight. Uh, his manager. Seven million yeah. dollars. Yeah, seven million dollars. He said. He said. Hey. He said. Uh, his exact words were. We would need more money to start. We would need more money fighting Andre than, than Canelo just to start negotiating. That's what he said. Oh well, you uh, you wonder why? I, I told you the, the boxers <laughs> are the ones, they don't want to fight those boxers, man. Guys are no joke, but you know I, I think that if it if it made sense, if it made sense for for, for each party, you know, because at the end of the day, yeah, it's just is a business. Uh, it is a sport as well. And, you know, you got to marry the two, bro, and they got to be perfectly lined up sometimes. So um, and what I mean by that is, is that the money got to be just as good as the damn fight. It has to be just as good as the fight. Now, absolutely. The money, everything got to lined up perfectly for, you know, these fighters to be able to take these these risks and get in the ring. And. And and, and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And put it on the line and risk and losing their O. Because yeah. it, <laughs> that losing that O sucks, bro. Losing that, that O sucks. That O is everything. That that O losing that O will cost you a couple millions of dollars. Yeah, days. it can. It can. And especially against a boxer, a pure boxer. Think about that. If you get outboxed and outclassed, bro. Oh man, that's hey, hey, that that sucks. That's not a good look. Hey Tim, what about what about that uh that that Johnny Beck fight versus Andre? I know I know Andre's a, they say he's a free agent now. Uh, that Janet Beck Andre fight seems like it should be easier to make now with with him. <laughs> it should be, easier, <laughs> man, but you know that Janet Beck ain't no joke. Yeah, it ain't no joke, man. Yeah, yeah, Janet Beck ain't no joke, bro. He ain't no yeah, joke. And, uh, they were supposed to fight a while back, but I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to that or that negotiations. I'm not sure if who will side. I, I, know that, I know that Janet Beck and his side, they wanted the fight. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know if Boo Boo wanted it. It don't only really sound like it because because he was like he was he was saying like uh, they did an interview with him and they and he was saying uh you know I, I'm trying to fight the big names you know he wants those big names the the money making fights the, the fights that are gonna make him a household name and he feels like Johnny Beck won't really do much for him. Yeah. He deserved that. He deserved that, bro. He's been champion long enough. He deserves that, to be honest with you. He really does. 
Uh, Boo Boo yeah. Dub definitely deserves that. But sometimes beggars can't be choosers, bro. A lot that's of times these guys are not willing to fight you, bro. And, and if this is a guy that's 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 willing to face you, why don't you go ahead and knock him off? Because if you don't knock him off now, and you're gonna have to probably see him later anyway. Especially mm, if man. you're gonna stay relevant in the sport, you're gonna have to see him later sooner than later. That'd so be even worse. Him. Exactly, and that's my point, man. And that's why I was saying, like Spence and, and, and uh, Crawford, and I know I'm going on down another lane. Yeah. Spence and Crawford, they better get Ennis before Ennis get this boy. You better get Ennis. <laughs> <now. laughs> Yeah, I can confirm that. I can confirm that watching them fight on TV and then we're seeing it up close. I can definitely confirm. You better hurry up. Hurry up and get him now because why he's young. Kind of like what, what – and I know that Can uh, Mayweather was older. Kind of like what Mayweather did to Canelo. He got him when he was younger, when he, he, when he hadn't matured all the way. Yeah. And you know? that went that went aged beautifully for him. Every, exactly. time Canelo, every time Canelo wins, he's like, yeah, but look what I did to him. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. Oh. Eight. Eight. Seven. I know. I know.